A new published study found at least 10 babies born with similar birth defects all have a common denominator. The mother used fentanyl during pregnancy. Um, fentanyl exposure, um, we believe this is related to illicit use of fentanyl, um, not prescription fentanyl at this point. Erin Wadman works at Nemours Children's Health in Delaware. She and her colleagues published the findings in Genetics in Medicine Open. Six of the patients are detailed in the study. All or most of the infant patients had conjoined toes, smaller heads, and cleft palate. Most are also in foster care, and they're from different parts of the country, from Rhode Island to California. All children tested negative for a known genetic syndrome, which is why doctors believe this novel syndrome is associated with prenatal fentanyl exposure. Dr. Kathy Ward is a pediatrician on the Upper West Side and says birth defects can negatively impact children as they grow. We see babies can be born very irritable, they can have feeding difficulties, they can develop developmental milestone issues, for example, uh, walking later, talking later, low muscle tone, speech and language delays. She also says clinicians need to be diligent and pay attention to any patterns. This is how we all came to recognize fetal alcohol syndrome and also the issue with isoretinoin for acne and what kind of birth defects that could cause for people. The doctors in the study plan on keeping a close eye on this to officially determine if fentanyl itself is the cause. There might be something laced with the fentanyl, another contaminant, other confounding factors. And Amores Children's Health is asking other centers, institutions, and doctors to report their own findings to validate what they're also seeing. I'm Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.